Work Guidebook Unpacked. Episode 17. PESEL Analysis. PESEL is an acronym for an analysis tool useful in preparation of any conflict transformation and peace building activity since it requires a detailed analysis of the conflict context. It stands for Geopolitical, Economic, Social, Technological and Information, Learning and Legislation and Environmental Situation in a Conflict-Affected Region and comprises a set of questions related to each of these fields that should be answered in order to get a detailed insight into the situation in the field. Geopolitical Situation Who is in power? Who makes decisions? What is the current political system? Are the elections fair and representative? What is the political position and power of our target group? What is the level of overall security? Are there any violent or extremist groups? What are their aims? How do they operate and how does it affect the situation in the field? What is the region's relationship with the neighboring countries or regions? What is the overall human rights situation? To what extent and in what way are the religious and ethnic minority communities engaged in politics and in what way? What may the long-term effects of all this be? Economy. What is the level of economic power and poverty rate? How much is the consumer's basket and who in the society can afford it? Who has access to economic resources? What are the most common workplaces in the country and who works there? Who has access to the labour market? How about the grey economy and labour-related migration? What is the role of trade unions? How much is the state indebted to its international creditors? Who decides on the country's budget? What may the long-term effects of all this be? Society. Welfare issues. What is the condition of the state healthcare and welfare systems and how much access do people have to them? Tradition. What are the traditional family roles and what are the current trends? What is the divorce rate? What is the level of awareness of domestic violence issues? What is the position of women in society? What is the general way of treating socially vulnerable groups? Culture. Which ethnic communities are present in the region or country? What are their mutual relations? How visible are they in society? What are their common interest, and what are their particularities? Religion, which religious communities are present in the region or country? What are their common interest, and what are their differences? Demographics and migration, how old is the population and how is it coping with the migration and aging processes? Who is leaving coming to the region and why? How does the domicile population react to the newcomers? How do the newcomers cope with the new environment? What may the long-term effects of all this be? Technology and information availability accessibility. What technologies are used in various fields of social operation? How contemporary, cost-effective, and safe are they for their users and the environment? How accessible are new technologies to the people and from which markets? How many independent media are there in the country region and what is the level of freedom of speech? To what extent do the authorities exert censorship over the media? What may the long-term effects of all this be? Learning and legislation. What is the structure of the educational system, state, private, mixed? What is the educational structure of the population? What is the illiteracy level? Why do people not go to or drop out of school? Do girls and women and other vulnerable or marginalized groups have equal access to school? How professional and well-educated are the staff in schools? How about the student numbers, increasing or decreasing, and why? What may the long-term effects of all this be? To what extent is the legislative power unbiased and independent? How transparent is the legislation adoption procedure? Do the authorities adopt legislation according to the prescribed procedures and take into account experts' and citizens' suggestions? To what extent are individual and collective human and civic rights observed, especially those of vulnerable social groups? Which part of the legislation is favourable for your organisations or NGO activities, and which is not? Why? What may the long-term effects of all this be? Environmental issues. What percentage of the population has access to safe drinking water? What measures to prevent air, water, and soil pollution are being undertaken? 
What are the burning environmental issues in the region or country and how are they being dealt with? What proportion of the land is good for cultivation and what proportion is actually being cultivated? What other natural resources are available? How about global warming and plastic pollution awareness? Who is particularly affected by disregarding environmental issues in the region or country and in what way? What may the long-term effects of all this be? How is it commonly used? Participants discuss the questions listed in each of the points, recording their answers and backing their responses with references to relevant sources. If necessary, and resources permitting, colleagues or experts in any of the specific fields should be consulted. Finally, the actual and potential long-term effects of such a situation in a given context should be considered since participants' projects will focus on preventing and or mitigating these effects. It is recommended to get peer feedback from colleagues and edit the text or presentation accordingly. If participants work in a team, the most efficient way of working is to divide individual topics among team members based on their expertise. The rest of the process is the same as with individual work. In the case of a team pestle analysis, it is advisable to have an editor for the final version who has not participated in the data gathering and writing process. Pestle, strengths and limitations. Allows for a systematic and comprehensive analysis of a wider social context, all-encompassing, exhaustive, in-depth and detailed. Solid background for a context analysis by applying other tools. Good stepping stone for intersectional analyses depending on the project's scope and needs, may also focus on certain specific fields. Limitations. Requires substantial time, knowledge, experience and analytical skills for application. May require involvement of a team of experts. Finding a balance between presenting global or general compared to local or specific phenomena, trends and actors may prove challenging in case of limited writing or presentation space. For more information and practical examples, please refer to the Peacework Guidebook by YMCA Europe Roots for Peace. Next episode, do no harm. Thank you for watching.